So, I've had a pretty big shift in my life this past month. If you watch my recent life update video, then you know that I've taken a position as a full-time producer and opened up my second channel to shift all of my Quran recitations to another channel to really focus on this style of content. Now, along the way of me starting this new chapter, it really made me realize how much discipline was required of myself in order for me to get these things done without me getting overwhelmed or burnt out. Now, honestly, nobody said that growing up or managing multiple projects was going to be easy, but honestly, being disciplined really is not that hard, especially if you have a clear cut understanding of what your goals are and how you're going to get there. And well, the rewards, we'll get there in a minute. But first, we're going to have a word from today's sponsor. So I look like death because I just woke up, but look at these bags. Look at these bags, but it's okay. I'm going to show you guys how I usually style my hair and we're going to begin with pre-styling. Now, what is pre-styling? Pre-styling is a process where you add product to your hair um, and then you blow dry it. And this honestly makes a massive difference. I wish that I used to do this when I was younger. So we're going to be using Blue Mon's Ascend. This new Ascend volume cream has been relaunched by Blue Mon and it's now with a heat protectant and it helps protect your hair. I'm going to add that much into my hair. Now, it's okay if your hair is damp. You just want to make sure you get all of this product evenly distributed throughout your hair. Then you take out the blow dryer to really make this thing have a difference. Okay, <laughs> so now my hair is fully dry. Obviously I can't leave it like this because I look like Bruno Mars, but I can't take myself serious looking at myself in the camera. I look like, I look like the brown Elvis Presley. I put it in this position where in order to tame all of this, you need a really good product. You so the product we're gonna use for the actual styling is Blue Mind's fifth sample. It's a high hold, low shine product designed to withstand any weather conditions, any, you know, humidity. If you're at the gym and you're sweating, it's it's made to literally withstand all of that. So I'll take like a dime size or a little bit more of a dime size. But the thing that I really love about Blue Mon's products is it's not just hair product. What it really is, is it's hair product that's packed with healthy ingredients for your hair. You get like the best of both worlds. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. And if you're a person who likes to, you know, use a blow dryer or go out in the heat and you play sports and maybe you run around campus all day, please, please, please take care of your hair and use a pre-styling heat protectant product. Okay, so now from the back of my hair, I usually like to push it forward this way and kind of work the product from the back of my head to the front. Um, but yeah, guys, that's basically how I went from this, like really damn flat hair, to this super volumed textured hairstyle. If you guys do want to grab something for yourself, I'm going to leave a link down below and you can use our community code Yusuf for 10% off at checkout. All right, so to kick things off, let's talk about what discipline really is. Discipline is not just about self-control or sticking to like a pretty routine. It's self-respect, it's a new mindset, it's a shift in your life. The thing I love most about Islam is that the whole entire thing about our deen is, it's a way of life. There's no other way of putting it. It is truly a way of life that's reinforced by discipline. I used to look at discipline as something that came natural to me and benefited me in the long term. And now, now although I was correct on, you know, the whole part of it being long-term, benefit I was completely wrong about the natural part that's the thing about being disciplined being disciplined is about doing things that aren't necessarily easy or things that necessarily come naturally to you but you put in the hard work because you're, you're trying to attain something for a long-term goal I'll give you a couple of examples if you're trying to write a book or start a blog then you should probably be practicing your writing skills if you're trying to start a YouTube channel and be successful as a youtuber you should probably be putting in the reps uploading every single week so that you can become successful and if you want to increase your level of you man then you have to build a discipline of staying mindful on how often you sin when it comes down to it discipline is doing the thing that you know you should be doing in order to reach your long-term goals and it's not going to be comfortable in the beginning you're probably going to hate it but irregardless of what you're trying to achieve i promise you that being disciplined has a blueprint step number one is you want to identify your goals you want i want you to look into your, your life look at the things that's going on in your life and ask yourself a couple of questions ask yourself what are the goals that i want to set out to achieve what do i want in my life and you have to have clear understanding of what those goals are whether it's personal professional or health related goals it is important that you state exactly what your goal is i would say write down your three month plan write down your six month plan write down your one year plan and just keep it there you don't want to really go five years
years because honestly, if you asked me five years ago, where I wanted to be, my answer of where I am today is completely different. So honestly, you're not question of where do you see yourself in five years? Throw that out the window. Just do your three month, your six month and your one year goal. Write those down exactly what you want because this will allow you to do step number two, which is break down your goals into smaller goals. You want to divide your large goal into smaller manageable goals. We see this happening a lot even in Quran. When I was a kid and I was tasked with memorizing the entire Quran, I remember in the beginning I looked at it as wow, I have to memorize this three 400 page book in Arabic that I don't even know or understand. Instead of looking at it as one entire Quran, I had, had 30 chapters and each chapter had 20 pages and each page had around 10 to 15 lines. So I broke down memorizing the entire Quran into small steps of memorizing five to 10 lines every single day. And I chipped at it slowly by slowly every single day, inching towards my goal of memorizing the Quran. And before I knew it, I created my own system of memorizing the Quran and I achieved it. Now, after you've broken down your goals into small steps, you need to create a plan because now you have small steps in, in your fingertips. What do you do now? You have to create a bulletproof plan that you're going to have to stay consistent with. All right, step number four, which is prioritize. Now that you have your goals set and a plan that is clear in your mind, you need to determine what tasks in your plan are of highest priority. You have to figure out, okay, what needs to get done right now? And you need to get to it. If you spread yourself too thin and you don't know what the priority of your task is, it leads to the potential of you making more mistakes in the future and you having more setback. You need to prioritize yourself, prioritize your goals. And the same way, you have to prioritize the things that need to get done. Time, privilege, I don't know what the term is, but I grew up very privileged in the sense that I had a lot of free time. I was homeschooled growing up and then I went to a boarding school where all my my only focus was Quran, you know? So I had the luxury of not really prioritizing multiple things in my life. I only had to set my focus to one thing and one thing only. But now that I'm older, I'm realizing that, okay, multiple things are a priority in my life and each of them have their own set of priorities that need my 100%. An easy way to to help you focus on your priorities is step number five, which is eliminate your distractions. Now, I remember I was listening to a podcast with Alex Ramosi. Easy productivity hack. Instead of spending time getting in the mood to work, just start working, confront the work. People think they need perfect conditions to start when in reality, starting is the perfect condition. I'm married to that. All those people online that preach you need a 20 step self help routine or you need a 20 step morning routine in order for you to be in the perfect mind and the perfect mood. All of that is just BS. Cut all of that out because we all know that by the time you finish those routines, first two to three hours of your day is completely gone because you tried journaling and you tried meditating and you did like your skincare and you had the perfect breakfast and you went to the gym. Listen, you need to starve your distractions in order for you to focus. If you look at the most high highly successful people, a majority of them wake up, they roll out of bed, they grab a cup of coffee and they sit at the desk and they get straight to work. And honestly, I used to be one, I think one of my most famous YouTube videos on this channel is my morning routine. If you watch that, I have like a 10 step morning routine and that is not realistic. I'm telling you guys right now, if you wanna get things done and you wanna stay disciplined, you'd much rather be disciplined in the things that actually matter compared to the things that don't matter. Because I used to fall victim to this too. I used to need the perfect coffee shop, the perfect ambience, the perfect weather in order for me to get work done. But now, <laughs> it sounds so dumb, but the sooner I start, the faster things actually get done. And with time, as you put your reps in, you will get better at just starting. Step number six is you need to set your own deadlines for yourself and take radical accountability for your deadline. Growing up in school, we are thrown with projects and and assignments and things that we need to do and we have a professor that is holding us accountable but in your own personal life and when it comes down to your own business and to the things that you care about most there is nobody breathing down your neck like a boss that's telling you oh did you wake up for fudger today did you read the pages that you wanted to read how far are you in where you want to get there's nobody that's doing that so you yourself need to have a radical sense of accountability in order for you to make sure that you're on track this was something that i struggled with immensely and i still struggle with it now and i probably will still struggle with it in the future hopefully not but inshallah i'm hoping it gets better but what really helps me is i sit myself down i set deadlines for the projects that i need to film the projects that i need to get done and i add it to my calendar and i make a schedule so i have a schedule of the deadlines that i have and then I add it to my apple calendar or notion or whatever the heck you guys want to use that way you have an overview of everything that you need to get done in your week or your month and it allows you to prepare for the deadlines instead of you rushing now as time goes on you will develop consistency in your habits they say it takes about 66 days to create a habit or something like that, right? Before that habit is developed, all you really have to hold on to 
is willpower and consistency. Consistency is the key to self-discipline. Now you should create daily tasks or routines that help you create that consistency and over time these routines will become habits. Consistency with routines over an amount of time becomes second nature and that's where you want to be. Now during the time of you trying to build discipline in your life you need to be patient with yourself and you need to be able to practice self-motivation. Remind yourself why you're pursuing these goals. Think about your why. Visualize exactly where you want to be and why you're doing this. I'm such a big believer in the power of visualization. It's mainly how I've been journaling this entire year is just visualizing what I want to achieve in this year. And visualization is pretty much a superpower when it comes to journaling. You're able to take your imagination and mix it with the reality that you're currently in in order for you to achieve your goals. Pretty much like making magic. Now as you guys start to hit your goals and you know you're seeing the fruits of your labor when you're being when you're building discipline, do not forget to reward yourself. Do not forget to take some time off, to take a breather, you know, to treat yourself once in a while. Remember that you have to stay patient because discipline is a skill to learn and it takes time to develop. So, so understand that your progress is gradual and it will take time for you to build discipline. We're all different and we're all going at a different pace. Now, what can you expect when you stay disciplined? Now, I want you guys to, you know, visualize your life after you have achieved discipline. You can imagine how disciplined you are and how focused you are at achieving the goals that you set out to do. You're now this more confident individual because everything that you've set out to do, you accomplish. And you have this sense of belief and peace inside of yourself that you know that, okay, I can trust my mind and I can trust my actions. And most importantly, I can trust my decisions in what I do and where I go and what I say. You've mastered the organization process. You know exactly how to focus and to starve your distractions. You're more resilient in your day-to-day -day work. And the people that are looking at you understand that, wow, this person Person really knows how to overcome their obstacles. Overall, discipline is a huge fundamental when it comes to your own personal growth. And that's all that I have for you guys today. Remember, discipline is not a restriction, it's a liberation. It empowers you to take control of your life and turn your dreams into a reality. So go out there, set those goals, stay disciplined. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like it and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And hit that notification bell for more empowering content like this. Until next time, people, stay disciplined, stay true to yourself, and most importantly, keep chasing your dreams. You got this.